well. Hi, everyone, and welcome to 5 Minute Fusion, a Who's That Anime podcast, where Colin and myself, Steve, will take the journey through episodes of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, God Help Us, Dragon Ball Super, and beyond. We're going to do all of them in a quick five minute summary as best as we can. Colin, are you ready to continue this journey with me? Yeah. Um... Excellent. Here we go. Starting off with the first episode in the third season. It is episode 29, The Roaming Lake. Oh no, The Wandering Lake. Oh, The Roaming Lake. Either or, it seems. Master Roshi tells Goku and Krillin to take a break from training for now, but Krillin still decides to go live with them. Goku sets off on his search for the four-star Dragon Ball. Meanwhile, Nam has arrived at his village with the water, but it's still not enough. The river has run dry, so Nam heads upstream to find the source of the disturbance. He's attacked by a dinosaur. But luckily, Goku's swimming in a nearby lake and comes to his rescue. He and Nam continue upstream and find that a dam has been built. The monsters that live there refuse to tear it down. Their leader, Giren, recognises Goku from the tournament. He says that he would tear it down, but it's too strong for them to break. Goku fires a Kamehameha wave at it, which is enough to destroy the dam. With the river replenished, everything seems okay, but a sandstorm suddenly kicks up and dries up the river again. Goku notices the lake he was swimming before. This is the roaming lake and it came to help the village. Colin, what did you like about this episode? I liked the the retort that um, Yamcha gave Bulma uh, while they were uh, sitting beside the car as it ran out of fuel. Yep. Uh, It was something along like uh, how his good looks couldn't fuel the car or something. Oh, uh, the, the fuel was empty. But we'd have enough fuel. If if fuel was good looks, we'd have plenty or something like that. Yeah, because of my good looks. What yeah. guy? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wrote <laughs> my favorite thing was when Krillin was rummaging through Master Roshi's suitcase. And he goes, "Huh? There sure are a lot of magazines in here." <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roshi. Yeah. Uh, what didn't you like about this episode? Oh, uh, Roshi. Yeah, yeah. Mainly, mainly yeah. the scene in the lingerie store where he's basically says, "I don't have anyone to model these, uh, li- the, these pants. Can you model them for me to the the clerk?" And she's like, "What?" Yeah, that whole scene is and, horrific. And then he kind of laughs about it. Yeah, it's like, "No, that's 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 blatantly sexual harassment." Yeah, he also has. I, I've written that he kept mentioning that he was looking to score big. It's like, oh, this is this is the worst. Um, what, what do we now know, Colin? Uh, Goku doesn't know what a suitcase is. That's right. He says, "Does that box have all of my things in it?" Yeah. Yes. The suitcase. <laughs> yeah. I've written that Roshi believes he has a style to cramp. <laughs> uh, Yamcha and Boma's relationship is already not great as they're at each other's throats while he's driving. Oh no, that's a happy face, man. That's her <laughs> happy. <laughs> that's what she claims. Um, I've written that Roshi is kind of into getting beat up by women. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I did uh, hint that earlier, yes. <laughs> um... <laughs> Dinosaurs are back. Yeah, and they want money. <laughs> yes. Uh, I I have written with a question mark. They're like, what the hell is merry-go-round gum? Well, but, okay. That was the that's the stuff that uh, what's his name's uh, trapped Goku with, and he burst out. Oh, okay. But it's just like, why don't you think he can destroy the dam if he <laughs> is if he's already proven that he can break out this gum? <laughs> I have like great concerns about Nam going back to his village with all that water, and then he's like, "Look!" and turns it on, and everyone's like, "Yeah!" And then for a really long time, it's just looking at him pour away a lot of water. Oh yeah, yeah. He's, he's not <laughs> reserving that water. It's just like constantly the faucet is constant on. <laughs> yep, uh, I've written that Oolong was expelled from magic school and uh, from shapeshifting school, rather. Oh yeah, for uh, trying to cheat at exams. Yep. Yep. And, uh, of course, while the rest, uh, Boma, Yamcha, Oolong, and Poir were driving around, they got blown back by the storm to where they'd started. Yes, yes. Then the car just pops out the, uh, the sand dune. 
Classic. Oh, we've reached time up. That is the end of today's episode, and we will be back next time to continue our Dragon Ball journey. So until then, it's a goodbye from me. Yeah, and a goodbye from me, folks. See y'all next time. See ya, bye. Dragon Balls. Look out for them all.